Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Uh, sorry for the delay on putting videos out. The brakes still have issues. I was putting the line lock in, I put the master cylinder in. Brakes are still having issues. I don't know if it's an ABS pump or module or what, but working on it. Still working on it. But today's video, we are going to be putting in the new headlights. Ooh, shiny and new. So yeah, we're gonna be messing with the wiring and all that fun stuff. Seems pretty straightforward. Just need to get some connectors to put that together. The directions want you to use these little clip-on guys. We'll see about that. But more than likely gonna use that. And also, gonna be putting in these little side indicator lights. I got them off Amazon. I don't know if they're a little gimmicky or whatever, but we'll give them a go. If they look like crap, then I'll swap them out. Seems like it's pretty easy. Just one screw and a little thing to insert in, like I insert in your mom. <clears throat> so I tried removing the headlights as they sit and that didn't work. So we're gonna have to do some other work in order to get them to work, cause I don't wanna break them. Let's go out to the garage and see what else we gotta do. Gotta remove the bumper. Seems pretty straightforward, uh, I believe there's two screws in the wheel well there. You gotta turn the wheel to get to them. And same on the other side. And then you got one, two, what comes after two? So yeah, there's like seven screws that have to come out. And then there's some clips you gotta pull out and stuff. So if you don't want your bumper to drop, either get two people or not ask for help like me. And I'm probably gonna end up sticking this little coolant bucket underneath so that the bumper doesn't drop. And also, should probably disconnect the fog lights and these little side indicator lights. So, I'll get under the car, get those disconnected, and I'll show you how I'm going to wire the lights up. Let me get some tools together, get the car in an advantageous spot, and start tearing this apart. Alright guys, I took the part of the intake apart. Uh, the wires in question that we were dealing with are right here, these guys. These are for the main headlights, and obviously that clip right here is for the blinker, the running lights, and all that shit. The idea here is to figure out which one of these wires controls the blinker, and which one just controls the parking lights. Because we're going to be tapping into the, the halo lights off of this, and I may also tap into the little three dot lights that are going to be sitting like right between here, one, two, three. I don't know yet, but we're going to figure that out soon. As far as the rest of the kit goes, you should just be able to unplug this and plug it into the new headlights, and that's it. So I just wanted to do this side and figure out which wire does what in the circuit while I still have the battery in, because the battery is blocking the other light, and I can't really do a test from there. So I'm going to use this one as a guinea pig to figure out what does what. Hey guys, Billy Ray from the future of this video because my meter lied to me. I don't know how, but it did. I saw the numbers. Can't lie, but initially you had the black and white as the negative and this blue wire as the positive. That one's for the blinker. I will show you a brief clip of that happening right now. God damn it. <laughs> I wired it wrong. Okay, so, on this particular GTO, I don't know if all the colors are the same, I, I would imagine that they would be. The black and white is the negative, and the brown is the positive for the parking lights. So, keep that in mind when you do this. And now back to our regularly scheduled install. Alright guys, we got a couple screws to take out on this side. So we got one down here, Phillips head, one up here, Phillips head. So now we're just going to work these guys out, and this one. Now, as you can see, there's going to be little clips up here. So, you know, let's, let's screw with it now, see what we can get. Alright, let's get in here, and kind of pull, there we go. Alright, so as you look down there, you see like that little hole? Well, you have another one over there. And there's literally, I don't know if you can really make it out, but if you could see like right there, there's like a little tab. You just kind of got to get it up over that. And your bumper for the most part is 
kind of free at that point. Just wheel well park, it's caught up. That's no big deal. So you wanna do that. So like I said, you gotta turn the wheel. I'm gonna go do the other side real quick. Bust that free, and then I'm gonna disconnect the lights. Cause I have yet to do that. And I'm gonna have to do that blind, cause I can't see. And then we'll take out these three screws and we should be able to just drop this thing off. All right guys, got this side popped out as you can tell. Driver's side's already popped out. I moved the car back a little bit just to get some room. And now we'll take these three screws off and we'll see if we can gracefully remove this front bumper. All right, I'll take these little screws out. Open that. And you're right there. All right, those three screws are out. There we go. Okay, just gotta lift a little bit there. there All right, got the bumper out of the way. Yeah, those wires might have been long enough, but who knows? Okay, we got a bumper. What else? Is that? Hold on, we're stuck on something. What else here? I mean, I guess we can just leave that there. It ain't hurt nothing. We'll leave it there. Okay, yeah, so it looks like there was one other little clip right here under the headlight that was hooking us up. And same thing over here, we were just getting hooked up. Now, you could unplug this and that disconnects the whole thing. Oh well, either way, we're just gonna leave that there. And now we can start removing the headlights, which just looks like two bolts. One there, one there. They look tiny, maybe a 10 millimeter. But we'll play with it, we'll figure it out. All right guys, before you go disconnecting your headlights, disconnect these plugs. The main headlights just has a little tab right here that you push down and pull out. And the blinker light or running light just has a little tab that you push down, pull out. Never pull out on your mom. All right, so to remove the headlights, you got a 10 millimeter bolt right here. And you got another one right here. So we're gonna start with this guy. Back you out. Okay, that one's out. We're gonna stick you right there so you're safe. And then this guy right up here. Stick you right there in the corner so we don't lose you. Oop, one more. Miss one. So there's three. There's another one right here, hidden. Okay, so now we got three bolts out. It should come out. There we go. That works. So you gotta kind of kick it out to the corner and it should slide right out. There we go. We got a headlight. Man, they use a lot of shit ton of friggin' plastic weld on here. Yeah, I hit a deer like 18 years ago and I guess that was a solution to their fix or this thing just started melting, but it doesn't look like it started melting. All right, let's get that side taken out. And then we'll start playing with the new headlights. Okay guys, I'm gonna start wiring up this headlight and getting it prepped so when I put it in, I just have to make one or two connections into the circuit and we should have functioning lights. Cause like I said, the headlights and high beams, plug and play. Everything else you gotta tie in. So these three little lights here, one, two, three. Are these wires right here? The black is negative, the white is positive, and your halo lights are these little doohickeys. So the black is negative, the red is uh, positive. Same thing here. Uh, my plan of attack is to put everything on the parking lights. So these three little dotty lights and the halo lights, they're going to be connected into the parking light. So if you're feeling froggy and you want the high beam, Halo light to come on with the high beam. Just tap it into here, black to black, red to red. That's what I'm assuming it is. Fact check yourself before you do that. That's what I'm assuming it is. And if you just want one halo light to come on with the headlights, be my guest. I'm assuming the blue is the positive, the black is the negative. And tie it in. You do you, boo. So let me get a crimping tool and I'm gonna use sticky backs too. I'm gonna try and make this clean since this is a little low here. I want to get a little sticky back and tie wrap that down there. And then I'm going to put another one right here. So it's nice and low. It's not going to get snagged up on anything. 
and then I want to splice these together, the two reds and the two blacks together, and make one tail for each coming out. So I just have to make one tap into the parking light wire. Because there's not a lot of room in there. There's not a lot of wire loom to work with. It's pretty short. So I figured if I could just get one wire for the negative and the positive, that'll work out better. All right, guys, back from the hardware store. I got my little sticky backs to tie wrap some things down. So I'm going to apply these here and here. And then I'm going to tie wrap these wires down, make them all nicey nice. So I got you there. We'll press down on that. Press that down. It's actually nice and flush with the little lip here. So that's perfect. So if we want to put our wires somewhere over here, we can. Yeah, we're gonna nice. Got our little tiny tie wraps. We're just gonna stick that there. Down and safe. Cinch that up. So now I'll take the two black. We'll make them equal length. Snip there. Shift this guy down. And then we'll twist these two black ones together. Got those together. And then the black negative here. We're also just going to shorten this guy up. Cut that there. So this is the negative from the halo lights and the three little dot lights. Then we'll use a little butt connector to try and cinch them together. we use a bigger yellow one since it'll fit all the way around. Insulated. Make sure we're in all the way and crush. Let me do our little tug test. We are good. And then being that that is our negative, I'm using a green wire, I don't have any black left. So there, take this yellow guy or green guy, shove it in, crush. Close these, there we go. We are in. Nice little tug test. And we're gonna do the same with the reds. We're just gonna cut them even. Put our little crusher guy on. Shove you in. Crush. Little tug test. And we are good. I was gonna use shrinkies on, but I think these are too fat and they won't get around here. So I'm just gonna use some electrical tape, wrap it up, and we should be good to go. And then, like I said, this is gonna go into the parking light. We have plenty of wire to kind of put it wherever we want. If we want to leave extra, you do you. A couple passes on here just to make it very extra safe. And that should be it. Oh, one other thing. There's a little slot right here for a light bulb. That's going to be your parking light, so you got to swap that out. Let me do that real quick. Get the old one out. All right, guys, took the little weather stripping off. For some reason it wouldn't go, but without it, it spins in and it's nice and secure. So if you want to make a new gasket, go ahead, but I'm going to go without for now. All right, guys, got to uh, cut back some of this little wire loom or whatever that's here. Just be careful. Don't chop it open. Uh, try and get as much room as you can in there because you got to put a little clamp around it. I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to put this headlight in first because... It's the first one I grabbed, so I'll get all this crap out of here. So I would imagine it goes in the same way as the last one. Got our wires all nicely tucked away. Get these guys in here, get them in there. So let's see what we got. We got to get there, up here, and slide in hopefully. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, right there. Okay, so far it seems to be jiving. That one lines up. Okay, I think we're good. Get this guy started. And then this one's down here. As you can see, it's right through that tab. Drop that right there, get that started. This guy's starting. There. And then this guy. Right down there. 
Alrighty, so we got one headlight in. It seems pretty flush. All right, let's move on to the wiring. All right, guys, got a. Uh, I got these little crimp-on style little connectors. So basically, this little metal tab here is going to push down into the wire and grab it. And then we want that facing down. So we'll slide this bad boy there. So that's in. Shove the red wire up and in. And you could still obviously slide it back and forth. So we'll stick that there. Make sure that's in. We'll take our needle nose again. Start getting a little pressure, make sure that's in. Nice and flush. And then we're gonna snap this over. And we should be good to go. And then I'm gonna plug it back into the headlights and then I'll start the other side. I'll get that knocked out and then we'll uh, see if these lights work. All right guys, I blacked out the garage and we're gonna test our little lighting situation. As you saw earlier, had a little mishap, a little, uh, little switcheroo of the wires. Oops. We're gonna give this a go again. So battery's hooked up. If I could find the hole, there we go. All right, so here we go. Let's do a little turn. So we got some clickety clackities and let's turn this to light. Okay, so far so good. We got our little dots on. Got our parking lights on, our halos on. They actually look really sweet. I love it. That looks really good. All right, let me turn on the headlights and uh, actually let me t check the blinkers first. Make sure we didn't cross anything up this time. All right, cool. That's what we want. Now let me check the other side, make sure I didn't booger that up. And the passenger side is working as planned. Woo! -hoo. So this is pretty sweet. I think it looks freaking awesome, man. All right, let me uh, make sure the headlights and all that good stuff work. Okay, as you can see, you're getting blinded right now. We have headlights, so they work. And this side is working. And let's check the high beams. Our high beams work. Got high beams. High beams, jeez, those things are all heat. So everything works. Oh yeah, our little side marker lights too, they work. This side too. All right guys, that about does it for this video. Uh, we got functioning headlights. We got the halos where we want them. And like I said, you could wire them however you want. Pretty easy to do. Just take your time, do it right. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I just gotta put the intake back together. Battery's hooked up. Wires are just tucked in the corner here. Oh, got the line lock in like I was saying earlier, but my new master cylinder is not working. I do not get it. My junkyard one gave me front brakes, no back brakes. The original pedal to the floor. This one pedal to the floor. Gonna have my dad come and try and pump the pedal, try and do it that way, see if we get some progress, but it's not looking good. So, uh, Bruh. ignore that. So yeah, I mean, this thing is pretty easy to put in. Uh, as soon as I get the brakes working, because I don't know if I have to replace this, I don't know if it's a booster that's a problem. I have no clue, but it sucks. That's all I gotta say. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, you know the deal. Probably got maybe four, well, probably including this one, four to six videos left in the GTO series for now. Got some other plans in the works. But uh, once I get this thing tuned and dynoed and on the road, I'm just going to enjoy this thing. Uh, I'll take you on some rides, but ultimately I want to get like that one ride where it's just letting it rip and letting you guys get to experience it and all that stuff. I can't wait for that to happen, but it's just it's got to happen first. I got to be able to stop. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.